This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies! Welcome to a very special video because today we are not doing just no ordinary video, no. We have a brand new pack and I am so super duper excited to share this build with you because it is based off of my real life dorm um if you're new to the channel and you're here like for the first time for um like early access content and all that jazz um welcome my name is rosebud here um and i uh, love to play <laughs> the sims obviously um but something you guys should know about me is that i um I actually live in a dorm myself. I go to a university. So this th this pack is like very like spoken from experience. Um, and I actually wanted to do a little gameplay um, review video. Um, probably like around like maybe next week I'll put it out or something like that. Um, of like using my sim self because you guys like really wanted to see that over on Twitter. Um, and yeah, I just, I was super excited to do this build because it is loosely based off of kind of like the style that my, that my university's, um, the built, the dorm building that I live in, it's built, it, it's like based off of that kind of like the whole style and feel of it, um, which I thought was really kind of interesting because I, as I was looking through some of the furniture, um, I realized that my university, even though it looks a lot like a traditional they do have like quite a mixed bag of kind of i guess like furniture like it isn't like tra all purely traditional so that's why you kind of see me mixing up the furniture a little bit um but obviously i use bright chester colors and all of that um but hopefully you like it because like hopefully you guys get a feel of like if you're wondering whatever i guess like what university or like my my dorm life i guess like looked like this is this is basically it sis <laughs> basically the same kind of feel um and yeah we do have actually fireplaces but no they never turn them on <laughs> um and yeah um and i thought it was so interesting too to like have like the fancy double doors that like go in and out of the hallway because um my 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 um my dorm hall is like really fancy and they have like the initials monogrammed on them and it like looks like so like mm, this is la ti da you know <laughs> um but like i was like you know what i'm gonna give the same kind of feel with those like fancy double doors um and i was like looking for something that like maybe you would have to like scan your card to get on the floor but i was like you know what i was like th this is good less is more less is more something kind of sad happened though the first time i tried to record this guys my game crashed because as i was putting out like i was okay so i was doing the front desk area and i like moved it and like for some reason my game spazzed out for this from this one countertop um from get the work so i was so scared to replace it back in the second time but luckily it did not happen it did not happen i was just like a freak thing i guess i don't know if it's just because like i i normally restart my game after i do a pat after i do like the patch but this time i didn't i just went straight in so like maybe i should always do that but yeah um yeah and i also too like i decided one thing this bathroom like really really needed i feel like was like curtains like and i feel like this is like very this is like very common too like for like the bathroom that i use like we have like a sink and then like the shower stall and of course like the curtain too so i was like this is this is realistic this is what we need that's good <laughs> um also too i was like looking through some beds even though i was like who would have a double bed in a freaking dorm nobody um <laughs> but yeah also too we have this like little sitting area i guess i would say like relaxing sitting area and the back there's like the utility sink and like the trash chute and all that fun stuff because you need that in a dorm <laughs> i did the rooms like very last and i did them quite detailed or at least tried to do them quite detailed um and this build also even has like a little like party place up on i believe the second floor or something like that maybe the students put that out there for welcome events or who knows maybe they just do it just to have a sneaky little party <laughs> um anyway so i haven't actually played a lot a lot 
with the gameplay yet because I've been building. But so far, I'm like very happy with the furniture. Um, I I would say this game pack is probably more. I guess heavy on on game I'm I mean this this expansion pack is more heavy on gameplay um which I'm happy about um because I feel like I feel like this will give a lot of good realistic real like replay value as well as it like just being fun to play with um but the furniture I did see I I really do feel like I really liked it I really feel like it's like very dorm living very even like i feel like too like even some of your more like um starter sims will get like use out of a lot of this furniture too um and one of my favorite items is actually the mini the mini fridge the mini <laughs> um and i also really really love the bike the bike is so freaking cool too um so those were a couple of like my favorite like items i just thought they were just like really funny and i guess just just different you know um and yeah, this this roofing this roofing gave me so much trouble. Like it was it was like I I had to like totally just like figure it out like the first time I did it. So like doing it the second time like wanted me, wanted to make me pull my hair out. But I do anything for you guys, anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, also too one thing I thought was really really silly um, is that in the original um, dorm that was sitting here, and either one of them. Every single one of the dorms on campus, for some reason, don't have a cafeteria in the dorm. Actually, in the dorm, they have them in the student center, which I thought was kind of odd that they did that. Maybe they did that to like make it simpler and easy for computers to run. But I was like, that's silly. I was like, you're you're not gonna want to go out every single damn time to go eat <laughs> if you live in the dorm. You know, you want to go you want to go eat. So, like real easily um and my dorm happens to be downstairs instead of upstairs but it's okay like it, this isn't meant to be an exact replica of my dorm obviously it's just like one floor it's just like a taste of what it and what it is like i hope you guys get from it um but yeah and just just pro tip i just feel like you know people want to eat in their own dorm so i was like i'm gonna make make us a, a cafeteria um and yeah because I know for a fact that my cafeteria and my in my school, um, at, at at least in my dorm, for some reason closes early, and I feel like it's real and it's really annoying, especially if you are like me and have quite a few like classes that get out late, because then I have to go to the other dorm that's more central to campus and eat before I go home. It makes me sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do live in a um, upperclassman dorm though, so I do feel like I rather I'd rather live somewhere slightly nicer, I guess, than um, live somewhere I guess where the cafeteria is open all the time and but it's like not as nice. Um, even though there is another nice dorm on campus, but like it's nice I feel like just to be with like older like older students, I guess just because freshmen can be kind of annoying no offense to any of you younger freshmen out there that are like college freshmen but like college freshmen dorms like i mean call it students who are freshmen in dorms i feel like i heard like horror stories about how horrible they are um just just having a roommate in general i guess is like a hard thing like i have friends who have had really horrible roommates and it sounds awful and I am very blessed and I am very happy that I have never had a roommate um, which is why I made a few rooms in this dorm for students only to have like one only have to have like one bed in there because like I feel like it's it's common for students that you have a dorm too to like get their own room because yeah sometimes sometimes you just don't want to deal with people Sometimes you love sometimes you love people and you like love your friends, but you're like I need my own room peace out bye <laughs> and Sometimes you're you're lucky enough to be able to to have that. So yeah, I'm quite lucky about that um, But yeah, I like this like this game pack game pack is not a game pack row It's an expansion pack get it right It's like an inception for me because like I'm recording university while I'm sitting here in my dorm <laughs> build a dorm while i'm at my dorm funny <laughs> um excuse me but yeah going back to the pack there's quite a few um majors there is 
the new law career as well as there's like a new i'm gonna say some new like tech career too like building career and i believe maybe that there is a new freelancer career as well i don't know if the tech career is actually freelancer i'd have to check that out um but there is also organizations that your sim sims can join you could do the arts organization you could do spirit corps you could do the brainiacs um and yeah there's there's a lot of things that you could join on campus which is which is totally fun um <laughs> This time around, there is no sororities or fraternities. Um, however, though, I feel like it's quite easy to make your own sorority or fraternity because you can have roommates. So, like, maybe if you made your own house off campus and, like, just had a bunch of roommates or just, like, or something like that and, like, make it kind of that way and maybe make it, like, into a club if you have, um, if you have, what am I call it? Uh, what is the back? get together get together <laughs> i couldn't think of the name of the back i am so horrible guys i'm i'm sorry i'm like the worst i'm like the worst early review person ever because i can't remember the names of anything um but it's okay because <laughs> you love me um also too um i wanted to talk about the did I talk about majors yet no i haven't talked about majors so yeah there is a great selection of majors there's there is my major communications <laughs> there's also um i want to say biology and uh, like there's just so many so many of them guys um but different universities have different distinguished degrees meaning that you'd get a better education at one of them if you already have some skills um if you already have some skills and you can get into the university like program like with those like with that you can get a distinguished degree however if you don't have those skills you might need to go to the opposite university and like start there first and then like transfer maybe if you wanted to um yeah and that's like that's the way it works or you can just cheat that's it that's an option too <laughs> don't cheat guys cheating che cheaters never prosper um anyway but yeah that's the way that's the way it works the only thing i was kind of interested i thought it was kind of interesting is that there was no degree that like related to like more fitnessy type things um and i thought that was quite quite interesting considering that they have soccer now too like you could be on the soccer team um as well as you can be in like a a gaming there's like a gaming like um gaming competition kind of career thing but there's not like a career though it's things that you can only do in your university um but like it's under the career section it's like hard to explain you guys you guys will know what i'm talking about when you see it it's like it's basically a thing that is like a career but it's only for university students like things that you could join and you can get scholarships from them as well um and yeah you can get scholarships even from living in just different worlds um there's scholarships for people that already have a career started there are scholarships for people who um already i guess have skills i think there are scholarships for people who have low household funds um so a little fafsa for you um or should i say smasva get it no okay <laughs> i'm not funny i'm not funny at all <laughs> but yeah um so we're getting more towards like the room building which is super duper fun because like i feel like i was like playing tetris and made me feel like it made me feel like i was feel i felt like i was playing tetris like i was like in my own dorm room like trying to shove shit in there um but yeah i like tried to switch up the layout for every like pretty much like every room just to just for it to be like different and like addressing for you guys to like look at um because i know no at least in my dorm people like switch up the layout i mean i kept mine my layout pretty stock or standard just because i really like the simplicity of it um and when you have a double and when you have a a room to yourself in my dorm you you still have to keep the extra bed and desk in there um so i just so i don't really use my other desk my other bed my other bed is mid lofted meaning that it's not a full bunk bed it's like a half bunk bed if that makes sense um 
so I like store some just some like bins underneath there um, for like when I move out and things like that um, and I have like a stack of water bottles there because I'm a water bottle freak and I don't like to use the drinking fountain <laughs> um, yeah because drinking fountains can be kind of gross sometimes just just saying um, <laughs> I'm a germaphobe a little bit <laughs> but you'd understand if you if you live like with like a bunch of other people like living on a floor with other people can be kind of annoying sometimes like I live on an all girls floor um and girls like leave their hair in the freaking shower like crazy it is gross I don't understand why people can't okay we're not here to complain about your real life problems bro but yeah that happens <laughs> but anyway in this sim in the sims game i'm assuming if you have an extra bed it will be it will be filled so i didn't do that i left the other i left the people that had a single room just just the single furniture that's it um so yeah so if your sims don't want to have a roommate you don't have to but if you can you could choose some um <laughs> and yeah and so like you kind of have like two different quote unquote floors on this dorm you have like one on the left one on the right um i tried to make one slightly more girly and then like the other one slightly more like masculine um so if you like wanted to like try to like have a like female male kind of situation um like on my floor you can um but you don't have to you can switch it up however you want it is up to you um but like i said i did what is coming for me um although the the two floors upstairs because there are two other like floors or dorms upstairs they are co-ed um but it's just really silly to me because even if you live in the co-ed dorms the opposite size because mine are because mine like run left to right so like they meet kind of like in the middle kind of thing um but since i um i live on the like the main floor um the lobby like the main lobby is in between but when you live upstairs there's just like an extra um like lounge room with the fireplace or whatever um but yeah it's really silly because if you're are, um, are a woman living on the opposite side then you would have to go all the way around for the bathroom so like the layout for the bathroom is still the same um like for like the female male floors but like it's stupid because you'd have to walk all around if you're not living on the correct side technically you know what i mean i don't know why they did it that way but they did um <laughs> um and yeah and i just i thought it was just so interesting too just to like see just to, like how many different ways i could fit like these this furniture in like these rooms so this was like really fun for me kind of a challenge kind of like a teeny house challenge um so i thought that was interesting i also did put in different items so different sims may have different interests and i just wanted to make it look oh like really really lively because like i know for a fact that when you get your room it like looks like a freaking jail cell so i was like i don't want to do that like i want you guys to be able to like move in and be able to like your sims to be actually have like have roommates to actually have like shit in their room like they have stuff in their room so you guys can enjoy it um and yeah i like really like this single room i feel like if i was a sim i'd pick this one um the like the pink one with like the youtube station because that's me you know <laughs> um and yeah i thought it was kind of funny too because obviously i have two desks and i have two computers my gaming computer and then i have like my my schoolwork computer which i have to say i got quite lucky today because one of my classes got canceled um which is my only class of the day on tuesday is the day that i am recording this um so i worked really hard because she gave us like two assignments in place of it this weekend to like be able to have this day off to be able to record um i just had to do like one other thing um but yeah and i just really really like this it was it was this is really fun for me because i was like because i feel like i do have that unique experience i guess of being able to tell you guys like how university really is which is i feel like different because i do feel like um some of the other ea game changers um they obviously some of them some of them probably do have the first hand experience but some of them don't so some of them can't like can't like really relate to like if this would be realistic because i heard people being like oh i wish that there were stoves in the dorm but i'm like hell 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 no <laughs> because um 
Yeah, they they would they don't even want us to have freaking toasters in the dang dorm. They do not want want students to be burning stuff down. Um, so I was like, that's a realistic requirement not to have a stove. At least I thought so. Um, the only thing that you're missing really in this dorm is a laundry room. But like, I you don't want laundry. You do, you don't want laundry <laughs> for university students. It's gonna be everywhere. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Um, but yeah um something too that i really really like the buildings in the background which are the buildings that your sims go to class in this is university is a rabbit hole but one thing i really liked about this is that you don't have to live on campus for foxbury institute or brightchester um to be to be here i mean to like go to school like you could live from any world um which i thought was really interesting and you can have roommates in any world too so that means if you wanted to have like a townhouse situation like you can actually do that now because you can have roommates and you could just like lock the door and like set their bed so they could live on one technically live on one side of you which i thought would be like super interesting and super fun so that's something really fun that you guys can like do now um also too i think it'd be just like really fun and like handy for like city apartments because i could definitely see people like having let's plays and just gameplay where right after college they like may live with their roommate um like in like san machuno or something like that that'd be quite interesting or if you technically just be like you want to pretend like the university is in san machuno you could do that too like the world is your oyster um so yeah um another feature that i also really really liked is that the that the roommates from what i've seen are really funny because they can leave you like really patronizing notes and <laughs> just it's really funny um and you can have so many different types of roommates you can have horrible roommates you can have roommates who like the party you can have roommates who like the study you can have roommates who like the clean you can have roommates who are complete slobs it's it's really fun so i can't wait to dive into some gameplay with you guys and now we're reaching these screenshots so please let me know if you guys like this build um and me going on i guess about my university life and like relating it to the sims i thought it was really fun um university in the past was always one of my favorites um so yeah make sure you guys comment rate subscribe um for more content i know i haven't been that stable with my upload schedule in like a month like past like december 14th or something like that your girl is gonna be full-fledged and back on her normal schedule it just your girl has a lot of work to do but she's she's getting in her senior year so this is a lot of work um so yeah cross cro fingers crossed for good grades for our sims and me <laughs> and um yeah i just i put good vibes up for you guys hope you like the content make sure you guys leave your your love down below um and yeah i'll speak to you guys later okay bye bye bye